Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, perfect weather. Love it. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are in Atlanta, Georgia, in the rain. In the rain. Yeah, we are here at Canton House, a recommendation mm -hmm. from one of my coworkers here uh, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It's, it's really raining hard, so let's go run in and go try to some of this food, babe. Yes, we're like getting wet. Yeah, let's go. So we literally just sat down here, mm -hmm. and the dim sum cart was right here. Yeah, and it is. Check out all the stuff we got within like two minutes of sitting down. Mm -hmm. We have the shumai, which is the pork dumpling. Hagao, which is the shrimp dumpling. The spare rib with black bean sauce. And of course, my chicken feet. Well, that's your favorite, huh, babe? That's my favorite. I'm going to share with him. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Give you the soy sauce in a little cup here, or a little bowl. Put some of my shumai and my hagao. Try this out. Came all the way to Atlanta for some Chinese dim sum. Gotta try it out, babe. Yep. Check that out. Authentic tasting. It is really good. In fact, it's some of the better ones that I had from the Los Angeles area. I won't mention any names, but I'm very impressed with that first bite on that shumai. Let me go try the pork spare rib. Mm -hmm. Pretty authentic tasting. So this is what you're just eating right now, mm -hmm. right? The meat falls right off the bone. Really good tasting of the black bean. And it's not so hot, so you can't eat it. This is a good one. So this is the hargao. It should be like a whole shrimp or big chopped up shrimp. In a dumpling. Here we go. You don't need to shove it in my face. Mm. Very good. The wonton or the dumpling skin on the outside is a little bit on the thick side. I prefer it on the on the thinner side, but it does have a good shrimp flavor inside of it. Here is my chicken feet, of course. This is really skin and cartilage. And the sauce that they make it in. <laughs> It tastes very authentic. This is a good place. So the barbecue pork buns baked. So they offer steam here, which we saw on the cart, but we decided to get the uh, the baked ones. And I have to say, it's a little bit on the heavy side. Let's crack this open. See what we got. Oh, meaty. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna pause this for a picture. We'll be right back. I'm gonna try this out. The temperature is room temperature to a little bit on the chill side. So here we go. That's a good barbecue pork flavor. A little bit on the minced side. So it's not like real big chunks of, of pork. Not very sweet, but it has that traditional, like that Chinese barbecue sweetness to it but they do put a lot of meat probably what accounts for the weight on these buns heavy buns here i like heavy buns oh. we always have to try their custard tarts when you're getting dim sum you call it on tat so when you go to any dim sum house ask for the on tat and this is what it is a little bit of Chinese 101 because I only speak Chinese food anyways. So here we go. Okay. Mm. Super flaky. It's a lot of crust. With the custard in it, it's very, very custardy, I guess you can say. Not too on the eggy side. It's really good and it's not too sweet. This is a really good custard type. 
and then a lot of a lot of shell, but it's a good one. How's that Canton house? That was pretty good. It was a pretty authentic tasting, actually. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. In fact, we've been to Atlanta like many times, but this is the first time we ever had Chinese dim sum. Yes. All right. Well, it's about a 30, 40 minute drive back to the airport area. And it's raining. Yeah, yeah. So, let's go, babe. Here we go. Making our way back to Hitville. Yes, uh, at least it's not raining that hard anymore, but there's the varsity. That's where we went last week for the uh, hot dog. And here it is, downtown Atlanta. Yep, lots of traffic. And I believe over here is a uh, Georgia Tech. And the aquarium is over there too. Yeah. A little outing after we uh, had our lunch. Yeah. Is that racetrack? Yep. Yeah, it's the equivalent to the in uh, SoCal, like an AM PM, but much better, much cleaner. Yeah. And it's almost it's, like a 7-Eleven gas station. Yeah. Way mm -hmm. more food options yeah. and just a lot bigger inside, yeah. like you said. Not as big as Bucky's. No. But <laughs> but it's a it's a pretty good sized place. It's a local here, and it has like just the necessities: water, soda, anything that you would need. Yeah, we give you a shot. Plus, they yeah. have like uh, 16, 17 gas pumps. Yeah, here. Pretty and good. it's a pretty reasonable price too. It is, especially right near the airport. Let's go inside. Okay. Kind of cool. They have a swirl world, like you can get your ice cream and sorbets. Yeah. Bomb pop. I haven't had that in years. <laughs> and all and your toppings, yeah. Check it out. They got high roller grilled hot dogs. Sorry, babe. No curved ones here. Oh well. Plus the jumbo size. Look at that. And you have, of course, warm buns on the bottom. Warm buns. First time we noticed this was at the uh, Atlanta Braves game, boiled peanuts. So we still don't get it, but we yeah. have original and key. What's it look like, babe? Boiled peanuts. Oh, yeah. It tastes kind of weird to us, though. Yeah. We may just have to try to get it just to taste it. <laughs> Look at all these yummy ices. They have everything. They have a Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew. They have a Coke. They have a Hawaiian Punch. Yeah, it's a lot more it's selection really than 7-Eleven. Uh, a lot more. Yeah. And um, normally, I guess they would have these, but they have these for right now. Of course, you're in Atlanta, so you have your sweet tea. Yeah. And a regular iced tea mango. Ooh. Found a new dinner spot for tonight. Yep, it's right off of Central and Virginia. Yes, here in Hapeville. Hapeville. Mm -hmm. It's called Dua Vietnamese. Yep, we're gonna have some good pho. First time, First again. First time, yep, but it gets four stars on Yelp, so we're gonna check it out. Let's do it. They got pho. Looks pretty good. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. So I got the Thai tea, which is the tea and the milk. You mix it up. It's sweet. And they gave me a straw. It's a boba straw, you know, the little tapioca balls they usually put underneath. It's a boba straw, but that'll be fine with Thai tea. And it's cocoa hole. Oh, that's There you go. Try it out. Mm. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, appetizer, what do we get? We got a pork and shrimp spring roll. You can see it's the it's really nicely wrapped in this rice paper. We have the vermicelli noodles. We have some veggies in there. Here's our shrimp. Here's our pork. Let's try this out. Here's our sauce. It should be almost like a, a peanutty sauce. Let's see. A perfect little appetizer. Starting out with the shrimp and pork spring roll. You can see right through there, you can see all the ingredients. 
Usually it's um, some place I know that I put actual pieces of uh, peanuts inside here, but this one is just all sand stuff nuts. So let's see. This is very peanut, great flavor. I don't think I've had one that has such a nice rich flavor of uh, peanut. It's really tasty. Yeah. This is the large beef pho bowl. It smells just amazing. Now we're, I wouldn't say super critical about pho, but we did have a nice pho showdown in the Westminster Garden Grove, California. Uh, we shot a video of like the top three places. So let's see how Georgia does their pho. This is just a broth taste test. Good flavor, a tad bit on the weaker side, but the flavor itself is there. So they gave us a side of the usual bean sprouts, uh, some lime, and uh, what kind of beef is or that? Thai, thai basil. Yeah, some kind of Thai basil. So we're gonna uh, dock this up, and then we'll give another taste test. Added the Thai basil, some bean sprouts, and now for this little secret ingredient, shoot this with some lime for that extra zest. Boom. Taste test again. Yeah, it brightened it up really nice. It has a nice, beefy, broth taste to it now. Check that out. Wow. I know it's gonna be hot. Who knew around Georgia you could get some great fun? I thought the taste was a little bit light, so I'm going to add, other than my usual veggies in there, some hoisin sauce, a little bit on the salty side. Let's do a little bit here, and then stir it in here. I don't know what that beeping is, it's been kind of going off like every uh, 20 seconds. Very light. Let's try this here. And a little bit more of the saltiness really brings the dish in all in one meal. It's really good. This is actually really good fun. Just like your fat babe? Yes, I did. Wow, pretty good, babe. That pho was pretty good. It's good. I'm full. Yes. Yeah. You ready? And uh, it doesn't look like it, but it's like seven o'clock, seven thirty. So it's kind of late. He gets up early in the morning, so that's gonna do it for Super today. Super early. Really early. But yeah, we're so already making plans for tomorrow night's dinner, so yeah. uh, it's gonna look. We're gonna look forward to that one, yeah, right? It's gonna be a good one. Yes. So until then, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It's lunchtime. Yep. And we are here at Barbecue Kitchen. Mm -hmm. We came here uh, a few ago. times ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this time, uh, I'm gonna get this um, a grilled ham and cheese sandwich, which uh, someone told me to try out. Oh, well, not bad, baby. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but it's gonna be good, because this place is just really good food. It's a great deal Yeah, over it here. is, it is. And this is one of this, the local eateries. This is the only one, huh? Only location? I believe so. Yeah. yeah, so it's one local eatery, really good food, very Southern hospitality. It's wonderful. Let's so go. let's go try it out. I went with breakfast, even though this is lunch. So I went with breakfast. I got my hash browns, my eggs over easy, and my ham with red eye gravy. Red eye? Red eye gravy. Red eye gravy. Yes. That's a good sized ham right it there. It is. It is. Grilled ham and cheese. Check that out. I'm going to cut it in half. We got some french fries here. Great little lunch. Oh, look at that. Melted cheese, good slice of ham. Gonna go for it. I don't get too many real ham and cheese sandwiches, but this one is probably the best one I've had. <laughs> <laughs>
this outside toast is buttered perfectly. Like they're making a, just a grilled cheese sandwich. The ham is nice and tender, flavorful. American cheese, just a perfect blend. Very simple, but yet super delicious. I made a great choice here. Here's my slice of ham with that red eye gravy. Well, what is red eye gravy? I don't know. Let's see if I can taste it. I believe it's a little coffee is involved in red eye gravy. You can taste it. That ham, really good piece of ham. A little bit salty. You can see this gravy here. taste this gravy actually this ham by itself it's a little bit salty but with this gravy it has like a little kick to it it's perfect with this gravy it brings it brings this uh, flavor to a different dimension as it for the ham it'll probably just match everything with the hash browns yeah and it. it will it's pretty good here we go mm -hmm. All right, that was a good lunch. It was. How much was the total, babe? Sixteen seventy-five. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. We're full, uh, ready for dinner later, later today. Have a little bit later, later. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I'm trying to talk him into going to uh, sightseeing a little bit, but he doesn't want to go into the city because of all the traffic. He's talking about yeah. sightseeing. <laughs> sightseeing, just look around you. This is Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Last dinner here. Last dinner. What are we going to do, baby? We're going to go to Spawn Divots. Yes, which is a big seafood joint, which is right behind us. Yep, there it is right there. And you know we like our seafood. We do. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So I got the yeah, coconut nice. fried shrimp. I usually get that lobster tail bucket, but I got it twice already, so I want to just change things up. But look at this. We have lots of golden fried coconut shrimp. It's on a bed of rice pilaf. And you have a choice between corn on the cob or, or broccoli, right? So I got corn on the cob. So let's just try this out. Wow, look at this. That's a, that's a good sized shrimp right here. Take a dip into this. I know it's going to be a little bit of a sweet coconut type of sauce. This sauce is very unique. It has like a, it has like an Asian type of flavor to it. A little bit on the sweet side. It's almost like, like mango type of fruit. Yeah, kind of reminds me like a, like a Thai type of dressing. Yeah, it's a great. There's so many. I got the combo bucket. This has the uh, snow crab and it has king crab. It has lob small little lobster tails and shrimp. It looks amazing. It is in Old Bay. So I had them mix it with Old Bay for 95 cents more. And it comes with a side of the garlic butter. And this garlic butter here is like legendary. It is like so good. Look at that, all that garlic in there. This is gonna be a good one. This is part of the lobster tail. Again, in lobster tail in Old Bay seasoning. Here we go. Let's pull that out right here. They even have a discard bucket right in the middle of the table. I'm gonna dip this in that really luxurious garlic butter that it comes with. And let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Very fresh tasting. It's nice and hot. Add garlic butter. You would want to bathe in this garlic butter. Yeah, I could vouch for that. That garlic butter is amazing. And this little lobster tail tastes good by itself as well. But I want to bring it up a notch, so it's, yummy. It's like the elixir of the gods right there. Elixir. It is. And I get two clusters with this deal. Okay, let's take off this first one. See how easy it comes through. Wow. Pretty easy. Let's put that back in the bucket. This is really good. Now the king crab, it was a little bit on the plain side. 
So I really needed the sauce. Not the sweetness that I'm used to, but this one is really good. It doesn't need the sauce at all. That's gonna wrap up our Atlanta trip. Yeah, that was a good one. We tried completely different places, I babe. Yeah, well, yeah. with the exception of uh, Spawn Divots yeah, here. It's the same. Yeah, we mm -hmm. got to try dim sum for the first we time. Did. And, uh, and the Vietnamese, pie, yeah, which is really good. Pie. All really close in here in Haightville. Yes, we have some shout outs. We do, we do. Uh, Lars Yellow Hair, happy belated birthday. Sien. Uh, Shalika's birthday as well from Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole, June, Gina, a uh, happy birthday. Uh, Catherine Fernandez, happy birthday uh, from Gary, who loves you so much from Laredo, Texas. Oh, yes. Um, Ballast family, hope you guys enjoyed your Vegas trip. Yes. Uh, Samonella from Quebec City, thank you so much for watching. Charlene Dixon, thank you so much for watching. And Tim and Teresa. Uh, happy anniversary and congrats May, or to me, congrats Holly on your gra graduation in May. Wow. Uh, it was a lot of them. Oh, and happy Easter to everybody, especially yes. Mark and Maddie. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter, happy guys. Happy Easter. My hair is doing funny things again. It's windy again, babe. Okay. Okay, baby. Well, we hope you enjoyed everything here, and uh, we'll catch you in Vegas. Maybe, Oops. I know. I was supposed to say that? Yeah, we, we we're trying to go home directly and we have to do a little stopover. Yeah. Oh well. We gotta do what we gotta do. See you in Vegas.